turn, this might sting a bit. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Victor. Please remember to hit that subscribe on the bottom right of the screen or in my channel. In this episode we are going to continue to level up Axton. I did, I did go from level 60 to level 80. Uh, well, level 79 as you can see on the screen. Uh, I'm gonna finish this level 79 and move to 78 right after this uh, montage of the levels from 60 to 79. Alright, so that was uh, pretty sweet. We got all of those levels, as you could could see or at least noticed that I was doing pretty much the same thing over and over and over and over until I got to level 79. And we're going to finish in the same way so that you have an idea of what I was doing. I'm going to continue here and I'm going to uh, do the same thing that I was doing before. Before I do, I was able to to get some new gear. Uh, uh, I did transfer some from some other characters, but also I was able to grab a few class mods from Tubby Skags in this uh, in this map. That's another one of the good things about this map is you get a, a an incredible chance of get, at getting uh, Tubby Skags. So I got this one, and I got a couple more. I even got a Macromancer one that I can use for later. But uh, uh, yeah, so I got these two class mods. We got the health regen and we got the team shield recharge rate, which is something I'd never use. And we got the cooldown rate, which is the current one that we have uh, installed in our backpack. Uh, I also went to, um, to Tiny Tina's DLC to grab the B shield. As you can see, I have a 
a 78 Bio Shield right here that I got from uh, Tiny Tina's DLC. And I, uh, over there as well is because it's another place where you can get really good uh, uh, class mods. I got these two, these two purple class mods. I got a reload speed, magazine size, and a fire rate, which is a very, very, very good one. Um, it's uh, the one of the ones that I prefer to use. Uh, from other characters, I did transfer a couple of relics because now we do not need this, uh, the the XP. Uh, a relic because we are pretty much done with this uh, and it's not going to make a difference now uh, but I was using it throughout the whole thing of course to get that extra XP I did get a few other um, uh, live millas from other characters which I have uh, equipped uh, I don't know if I had these ones before I don't think so I think I transferred these as well and probably got uh, some during my XP farming. I did get this from another character. Uh, I can't remember this one. But the, definitely these uh, Lion Millas I got from other characters that I previously uh, played. You can check them on my channel. Krieg, Maya, and Salvador. And we got the B-Shields that I was using to make everything faster during the farm. Uh, some of them I got from... Uh, uh, from other characters, and I think this one I got from uh, Tiny Tina's DLC as well. I recommend uh, Tiny Tina's DLC to farm for the B-Shield, because there's, once you get to the forest, uh, you get, uh, I think, I don't know, four or five chances of getting the B-Shield in one run, so that's uh, pretty cool. Alright, so that was pretty much it uh, in terms of... Uh, of my skill tree, I was I was having this skill tree uh, just for the for the XP farming, so that it could be more effective at the XP farming. I didn't have a, a lot of stuff uh, towards um, a regen or anything like that, or uh, damage uh, reduction or anything like that. I just had pretty much everything that was damage that I could possibly have uh i had it so that was pretty much it uh so let's do a run and finish up this uh this level uh and just give you an example of everything that i was doing and uh, i was actually pretty lucky we, i did get doing these farms i did get a a ton of um a ton of uh, uh rabbit skags which is what you need here uh, in order to level up fast. There we go. Didn't even have to use my grenade there. Okay. So the more the more rabbit skags you get, the more XP you get in one run. Oh, here we go. Look at that. 7,000 XP in just one kill. So I was doing the the calculations of it, and if you get at least one one skag on each area of these kag areas, it's around I don't know 100,000 100,000 XP once you're done with this run, uh, which is pretty pretty sweet. Um, it's about it's about three bars worth of X, XP, uh, which is massive i mean you can do this in i think it was i timed it i think it was about nine minutes ten minutes or so to get three bars uh there's no way you can get that in a in a mission uh three bars in a mission and usually missions take about i don't know a half hour each to complete depending on the type of mission of course and uh the type of things you have to do but it's pretty insane the amount of XP you can get here. Uh, the only, the only other place I think you can get more or about the same XP is um, is with the uh, uh, at the same amount of time. Uh, it's the the Iridium Blight one where you can get to kill King Mong and Donkey Mong. Um, that's also very very good uh, uh, farm for XP. 
uh, depending, and of course, here you're dependent on how many rabbit skags you get, but you definitely get, always get the Saturn and the, the constructor at the end. Present for you. Uh, the only thing about the Iridium Black one is that sometimes neither King Mong or Donkey Mong spawn, but the the run is such such a small run. Like you can get 20 seconds, you can figure it out if you have a spawn from either of them. And if you do get both, uh, I was looking at the the last levels. I think it's around. Um, let's see. I think it's around 24,000 each time you farm uh, for for King Mong and Daki Mong. And if you do get them consistently, uh, each run is about like a minute and a half or two minutes tops to get them both. So like every minute, if you can get 24,000 uh, every minute, that's an insane amount. Like if you do that five times, like five minutes, you can get uh, 60,000, 70,000 XP. Uh, no, sorry, 100,000 XP uh, because it's over 20,000 uh, XP. So which is, it's an insane amount of XP. Of course, they, it doesn't happen uh, consistently. Sometimes they do not spawn in from what I saw is that it takes about the same amount of time to get the same amount of XP as you do here, like about 10 minutes. In 10 minutes you can get 100,000, uh, give or take. That's still a pretty, pretty huge amount of XP. It's pretty much the same as here, but here it takes you about 10 minutes to complete this, uh, this entire map, which it's pretty, pretty pretty low that amount of time you know it was like and it took me I don't know two days to, to level up 20 uh, 20 20 levels of course I wasn't doing it uh, throughout the entire day <laughs> here we go cool story, bro. here we go so, the good thing is that on this level, you always get, uh, and of course killing the other enemies is also uh, beneficial, but uh, on this map you always get guaranteed, I think it's 25, 30, it's about 40 to 45,000 XP each run is guaranteed because you always get Bonehead, you always get Saturn and... Um, and uh, uh, the constructor. Okay, I'm gonna throw this guy over here. Okay, we got a guy over there. We got another guy. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. So we're definitely going to go up in level. <laughs> Once we... I don't know what he's firing at. Once we get to... To the... To Saturn. Let me slag this guy. Sweet. Alright. I think that's about it. I also have uh, already uh, new gear inside of Claptrap Safe, uh, so that I, we can get to to the first level of the the Destruct Peak, which is what I'm gonna do uh, right after we are leveled up. Okay, so we got some. I'm not gonna actually engage these guys because uh, there's no need to. Uh, but this is. Pretty much. Oh, one thing I forgot. So there's. Uh, you can all also, while you're farming here, you can also get the um, the chests, the red chests. I'm just gonna go there in case you don't know. 
Uh, so this is the first one. So there's a, a chance of you getting four red chests on this map. So that's another reason to do this map. It's awesome. So there's one here. And I did get some um, some uh, legendaries while I was farming. Uh, I didn't keep them but because they weren't the ones that I wanted. But you can definitely get it. And the other one is in here. And to do to 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 get in there, you can do it from here with a sniper. You just get that um, that box of over there. Sometimes it doesn't go at the f at at the first shot or anything like that. But just keep trying or keep moving around so that you can get the thing to explode. Of course, the sniper is the best weapon for that. And then you can come in here and uh, get a chance of some good gear. So that's the second one. The third one is... Oh, the, this guy is uh, outside. So we're going to get that guy. And we're just going to go to this side. And uh, I guess get rid of these guys. Otherwise they're going to come after us. I got one last one. Well, this one is harder. There we go. Alright, so now we're gonna get... We're gonna get Saturn and we're definitely gonna go up in level. Uh, do I have enough? I'm kinda low on uh, sniper ammo. That's okay. So at this point, I think uh, uh, Saturn is about, I don't know, 27, 26,000. Now we got rid of one of those uh, turrets. Let's get ours out. And let's get... Ooh. Of course, this attack is the worst attack that he has. Uh, glad as it was that was a short one <laughs> okay we're gonna we're gonna use our turret again get us some uh, distraction here Let's get rid of those turrets as well. There we go. Still one on the other side that I want to get rid of. There we go. It's better that way. And our turret is handling it pretty well. And I don't know why our shield is not going up. There we go. That should be it. Sweet. Level 80. That is awesome. Here we go. Level 80. Oh, look at that. We got the invader right here. I had, uh, I mean, I did this, I don't know, tens of times. I don't know how many times I did it. Over 100 probably. But uh, I got three drops of this weapon. And this is the... This is the slag one. This is actually pretty interesting. Um, I'm going to keep it just because I want to keep it, but I'm not going to use it at all. Um, that's pretty cool. So he drops the, the invader and also drops the hive, which is that rocket launcher. Um, and so the, the third... Oh, we got another stuff here. A lot of stuff he drops. Okay, so now we're going to... I'm gonna go for the third, uh, the third chest, red chest right here. Oh, that's nice. That reminds me, I need to go grab some uh, ammo capacity. So that was it, and uh, I'm not gonna go and do the rest. So the rest is just basically going up there, 
getting to the end and fighting the the constructor over there and the fourth one is right up there uh, I can't see it from here but it's right up there the fourth chest the red chest you just need to to go in the building and then go up the ladders and then you'll get there and that's pretty much what I've been doing since I was level 60 and uh, that was it that was pretty much it so we are at level 80 uh, level 80 so let me save quit here and uh, we are gonna go to Digistruct Peak but first oh I did change my my skin this is the purple nurple I, I prefer the red one but I still I don't have the red one yet um, but yeah so let's continue I'm gonna go to actually we can go straight to to Digistruct oh no because I gotta go grab I gotta go grab some gear Claptrap safe. I do have 80, 80 uh, level 80 gear here, and I do have some uh, some relics. So I have a new Light Milla plasma caster and a couple of uh, relics with co cooldown rates. So let's get these to us. Uh, Ooh, I'm empty. Okay, so since I'm empty, uh, I gotta get rid of some of this stuff, actually. Uh, let me go... Oh, uh, I don't have space inside of the thing. Let me go sell some stuff. Uh, there's some stuff that I definitely don't need here. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but that's okay. Because I want to keep everything that that he has on this character so that I can transfer it to the next you can once I'm done. Trust the gun at your side. Okay, so I'm going to sell some stuff here that I don't need, kind of like this Moloko. Uh, this one, that's a pretty good one. Uh, all droogs are good, really. Um, 69, 68... Yeah, I'm gonna keep those. Uh, let's see what I'm gonna. I have a slag damage, which is also cool. Uh, shock damage, I'm not gonna use, so I'm gonna take that out. Uh, what else can I sell? Uh, definitely, I finally got a a slag transfusion, a longbow slag transfusion. It's not the perfect one, but it's a pretty good one. And let me see what else. Uh, the, this one, I'm gonna sell. And what else? What can I sell here? Um, in terms of weapons... Yeah, I'm gonna sell this one. Don't need it. I'm not gonna use it without the characters. Uh, the invader, I might use it with the, with the assassin. I doubt it. But... That should be okay for now. It gives us some space in the backpack. And, uh, what was I doing? What was I gonna do? Uh, oh, Claptrap. Actually, since we're here, let's just do it here. And then I can uh, reset. Oh, I can do that at Digistruct Peak, but I'm gonna reset the, the skill points and then I'm gonna build it so that I can we can use it uh, over it. I don't know why I went for Claptrap. Um... Okay, here we go. Probably gonna have... Oh, it fits. Okay. There you go. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, and I got... Uh, I'm gonna need some more capacity, so... Let's get here to Earl. So I'm definitely going to need sniper capacity. I'm going to max it out. Look alive, people. Uh, here we go. 100 on that. That's full. Pistol, 100 on that. And then we have other stuff that we're going to get later because we don't have any more iridium. <laughs> All right, so let's... Uh, 
Well, actually, let's go to straight up to Digistruct Peak. Which is fun. We are already starting the OP levels, which is awesome. And uh, let's get to the machine to here. The gauntlet. Please follow the smell of vomit and tears so we may talk face to face. As the vomit was mine, I recommend facing away from me. We're going to reset this. Okay, now we're going to have to do this over here, of course. Can damage, not even a question. And uh, uh, let's see. So mostly I want to get down here. So this will be the first one uh, to go. Uh, reload speed. Uh, this one is actually not that important. But, uh, okay, so we're going to put five here. We're going to put improved shield return. Uh, we're going to put five here for sure. Uh, even with the V-Shield that, that has a very long uh, recharge delay with this, it's almost instant. It takes about two seconds or something like that. Uh, so we're going to go uh, gun damage movement speed. So anything that's gun damage is gonna, definitely going to go in. And then we're coming to a point where I do not want this one. So we're going to have to skip to, to the next. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of divide, because we do have the class mod, I'm going to kind of divide this to... Uh, one here, one here, and the number of shots. Uh, we're going to increase this. So one, we're going to put one, two, three. And then we got uh, an increased gun damage while your shields are depleted. So this one is a good one. Uh, I'm going to put uh, five on here and then get to the bottom here. All right, so on this one, uh, getting to this one is not that important. Uh, we definitely want to get to this one for sure. We're gonna we're gonna put five here. Uh, don't need this one per se. Uh, I'm gonna put five on this one, and then we got thirty four. So I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna need this one. The recoil is not that important. Uh, it's good to have for sure. Uh, definitely you want this one. And we have a, a maximum health here as well. Uh, but uh, improves reload speed. The, on this one, I really want to get down to this one and this one, these two. So, uh, increases gun damage. This could be helpful uh, for for the OP levels because uh, enemies are there's a lot of hard enemies, especially with uh, with the assassins at the um, you know at that little arena, with the four assassins. So this one might be really handy because uh, uh, definitely you're gonna go down there. Uh, but for now, we're gonna do five here five here so it opens up uh, for everything here we're gonna do one here for the shield I'm not gonna take this one so we got 23 so it's basically four other skills I want to put five into here but let's let's see which is going to damage uh, this one I definitely don't want. So I think I'm going to go... I'm definitely going to go with one here, but let's put five here. And I think the, the other two are going to be on here. So these two, the five there, because I don't want anything else pretty much on this side. I don't want this one uh, or this one. So what I want here, uh, this one is pretty good actually. Uh, improves reload speed and charge delay based on how much health you have. This one is not as important because we already have uh, the recharge delay 
from this one, which is pretty big. And uh, let's see. But it doesn't mean it's a bad one because the lower your health is, the the faster your shield will will, uh, will do. But this one this one is actually pretty good because it it reduces damage on you. So one, two, three, four, and it opens up this one, uh, which I'm gonna put. Uh, let's see. If I put one, two, three, four here. Because we do have the class mod here, they're bu bumping up our stuff. I have ten more than I can use, and with ten more, um, with ten more, uh, I can put five into this one because it will give us five percent more on everything, li literally, and and. And let's see. Hmm. This one really doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with five here. And then, uh, not as important, really. And uh, grenade damage uh, is definitely important. Uh, so let's see. We got five points. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put four here, one here, and we're done. So let's see how that that goes. I think I think I'll be good with that. And I think that's a pretty pretty good one for for the for Digis Rock Peak. And I mean, it's it's pretty much good for everything, but. Um, yeah, I think we're going to be good. All right, let's go. Let's not take much longer to go and uh, get this first level and see how it goes. Still for a moment. I require something of you. Here we go. So we're going to do that stupid mission with the door thing. Clever enough to uncover the secret way to open it. Here we go. Congratulations. You are now a genius by Pandoran standards. And I think I have to uh, put the relic in. Exceptional. I don't think I... Here we go. We got the first level right here. We're going to start it. Let me see on our backpack. Yeah, I still have to replace this. So I'm going to go first. I'm going to go with the corrosive damage. I think that's going to be... I would like to try this one, actually. But we have a cooldown rate here, 43%, and I actually forgot about that <laughs> when I was doing the skill tree, because it's it, because we do have a cooldown rate from the relic and a cooldown rate from the from the class mod. We could actually use the the points somewhere else in our skill tree, but that's okay. Uh, doesn't matter now. I think I'm gonna use uh, the corrosive damage. Uh, even though I think we're going to have mostly bandits or spiders or something like that before. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use that because eventually we'll get robots and corrosive pretty much destroys everything. Uh, so, let's see, 77, do I have an 80? Oh, I, I do have to replace this. So this one, 80... 78, that's fine. We've got another 78, but that's the the other one, 58, 55. Oh, we got the plasma caster, which is 80. I'm going to put that there instead of the 78. I don't know if I have a, a better 68... No, I think that's the best one I have. I think that's about it. I'm going to get rid of this. And I got the shield on. That's okay. I do have to get a an Uncommed Herald from... Or do I have it already? I thought I had one. 72, 79. 
No, I guess not. So I got to get the, this should be fine for now. It doesn't matter for now. Uh, so we should be good. All right. I didn't do the relic, did I? Oh, I did. All right, so we're good to go. Let's see how this, uh, how this skill tree will handle the first, uh, the first level. So let's see what we're going to get here. Are we going to get two skags? Throw a grenade at them. Okay, here we go. So we think we're gonna get mostly skags and then uh, spider, spider ants maybe. But mostly skags. Here we go. Got another one over there. Sir Hammerlock informed me the skag's vertical jawline eases digestion. I responded by emitting a high-pitched shriek until I passed out. Okay, throw a couple of grenades there. And our grenade, of course, is not is is losing his uh, its uh, efficiency, of course. Which, uh, when it comes to up, up to these levels, that's pretty understandable. There we go. Ooh, got a got a rabid one. Get rid of this guy. There we go. So we got two more up there. Gonna wait for them to jump. Just throw a grenade at them. A couple. There we go. So we're gonna have some more over here. Is that a... That's a rabbit, I think. There we go. Ooh, another one. So it looks like we're gonna have a few hard enemies on this, uh, on this one, which is to expect, of course. There we go, we got rid of it. And that's our first area cleared. Other than the rabbit skags, pretty straightforward, nothing too too difficult. Of course, enemies are harder to kill now. There we go. Wish I had the the slag light miller, but that's okay. Definitely having the the B shield makes everything faster, killing enemies faster, so that's that's the bonus. Alright, let's get to the next area, see what we're gonna get. Probably more skags. With Brick and Mordecai circling each other's metaphorical jerks over who gets to hunt the sudden abundance of vaults, Lilith and I created this training so this is, uh, for the Crimson Raiders. This is always the same. Test its I'm not gonna stop here, so I'm just gonna go straight to the other side, to the next area. Into a gaggle of well, it looks like it's uh, midgets. So definitely not gonna stop. Uh, and we have some enemies up there. Probably some skags. Yep. Let's throw a grenade. Couple. That's one. Two. And three. Alright, let's see what we're gonna get here. More skags. I think they're gonna jump from the other side. Um, 
I hate this one because sometimes they do get stuck on the other side and then you have to replay the the whole level. It kind of sucks. But it looks like we're good here. There we go. Uh, now we have... Uh, we'll have some bandits. So now it's time for our... These are definitely harder to kill. Just throw a grenade at him. Look at that. Definitely hard to kill these guys. There we go. A lot easier with a sniper. <laughs> All right, we're going to have two more. Oh, I forgot about these dudes. One is almost down. There we go. Sweet. So that's another area. Still pretty, pretty mellow, pretty, pretty easy. So I think next we're going to get, we're going to get the tanks, I think. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think we're going to get tanks uh, down there. There we go. I think we're good. Yeah. So let's see what we're going to get here. I think it's those spider tanks. I've, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. There we go. Should be pretty easy. Where's the other one? Ooh. Just gonna throw our turret here. Ooh, look at that guy. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, oh, here we go. Get rid of this guy. That horn skag is always harder to kill because uh, he's been uh, slagged by the, the other dude. Okay, so now we're going to get that tank finally. He's trying to get that guy slagged. There we go. Where you at? There we go. So this should be the last guy. There it is. All right. So the only unexpected thing was that that super badass slag thing. Other than that, that was pretty normal. All right. Let's see what we're going to get here. Uh, we got bandits. Say hello, Throw our guy here. We're going to get another one over there. Actually, like, grab this guy. There 
And he's down. Okay, we got three, three dots. That's one. So now we're going to have some psychos. Is that it? Maniacs. Pretty much the same. I thought they were coming from that side. They're probably not. Here we go. So now we're going to get these dudes. Now you be careful, honey. So they threw some grenades. Oh, I got a, a dude behind me. <laughs> right into the into the bulk of it here we go where's the other dude oh is that a rat uh damn rats is he dip? yeah he's up there there we go that was the last one Explosives hidden in the combat garden. Sweet. All right. So when we're gonna go for the next area, I think the next area is gonna be mostly robots. Almost good. <laughs> Make sure we are reloaded here, and we might have some uh, some surveyors for them for the first time. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Our here we go. Let's see. Looks like we're going to have some more enemies, more bandits. So I'm going to swap this out, actually, for the... The... the, 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 the. Swap this out for 54. That's too low. Uh, we got a 68. It's kind of low as well. Uh, but it's a fire one. So I'm going to try it out. Uh, wrong key. Okay, so now... Throw this guy here. So he's distracted. There we go, got the first one. Got the second one. Grab that. Oh, we got someone, someone else coming this way. No, nope. he stopped for some reason. So let's see what we get here. Oh, there he is. I'm going to do some changes here. Oh, come on. <laughs> and we got him slagged. And that's where you see like the inefficiency of the level of the weapon. Throw something over there. He's almost down. Where are you going? Let me throw our guy over here. Always harder to kill these guys. There he goes. Okay, here he comes. Let's throw this guy over there. Get him distracted. There he goes. So we got oh, 
There we go, got that one. And there's another one over there. Oh, there he is. Grab some ammo here. All right, dude. Moving. There we go. He's almost down. There he goes. Oh, we got two more. That's one, and we're gonna get the second one pretty soon. throw a grenade at you so he's over there so we m might get him on the second one there we go still alive okay another wave Ooh, we got some uh, some badasses over here so let me get to this side first Gonna grab some ammo. They are in fact camouflage Hyperion explosives designed to attack the raiders where we are most vulnerable. Our gardening battalion. Gather the Throw a grenade at him. Not pick the carrots. There you go. Got that guy. I think that was it. You can never be too careful with these guys. These are, they usually have good weapons and they can definitely do some damage. Oh, there's our last one. Where are you? There we go. And now we have the robots. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, we got the tank. Right. Hard to kill this guy. Oh, he threw a grenade at us. There we go. There we go, we got this guy. Okay, let's slag him again. There it goes. So now we have two enemies. I think it's a rat. He's slack still, I think. There it goes. Where are you? Ah, oh, there you go. There he goes. Sweet. Finally, that was a lot more enemies than I remembered. <laughs> but of course, on these levels, you always have to be a little bit more extra careful. Because uh, if you do die, you're done. <laughs> you have to redo the whole, the whole thing. All right, so let's get to the next area. And we got two more areas before the assassins... And that's pretty much it. 
All right, here we go. Make sure we reload it. And definitely uh, this weapon is already way, way too low of a level to be used. <laughs> Uh, 78. I'll probably use this one because it's better even though the other one's fire. This is level 78 so it will take the enemies out way 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 faster. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright, so let's see what we're gonna get. We're probably gonna get more... Skags for you. Uh, well, more skags and probably another tank. Maybe? I'm not sure. Okay, so let's get rid of this one. There were three skags. Where's the third one? Oh, come on. Don't. Oh, there she is. I hate when that happens, like, if they get stuck or if they don't move, but they're they're not reachable, like, they're way up there or something. Okay. Alright, so now we're gonna get... Gonna get some, uh, some of these dudes. I'm gonna th throw this guy uh, in the wrong place. <laughs> and he's firing at the other side. That's unreal. Um, well, it's kind of my fault. I threw it in a place where I, I shouldn't have thrown it. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. Let's get out of the way there. <laughs> way, way faster. There's another one. There we go. And we got two more enemies up there and got a skag down here. I don't know what that third one is, but it looks like a rabid one. No, that's a decent one. There we go. All right, so now we got to get rid of those two up there. So we're going to throw our dude over here as well. Because he, these are badasses. Oh, there you go. Now you're slagged. There we go. Where's the other one? There he is. He's kind of hiding. Not a, not a good hiding place, man. And I think that's it. Overpower upgrade in your possession. You will be able to change the strength of your enemies at will. You'll be like All right. a god. Though, no, maybe that isn't the right word. Designer, perhaps? So here we go. I don't know if that's going to come out on the on the recording, but apparently my neighbor needs to uh, use the... Uh, I don't know what he's using. Sounds like a... Some kind of uh, machine. Hopefully, it won't get on the recording. Uh, looks like a chainsaw. <laughs> I do apologize if that comes comes out on the recording. Uh, all right, so let's get to this side now. Okay, we got this dude. Ooh, got a badass. Badass maniac. Let's throw our guy over here. Don't want to. There we go. There he goes. Always good to be safe. Don't. And don't, uh, don't try to mess it up right at the end. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to get killing, get another couple of dudes. So he's going to hide there. 
Nice. And that's it. Sweet. Always, always good to have that extra recharge uh, or having that really short uh, cooldown. You're gonna make sure that I have enough ammo here. There we go. Alright. Alright, so now we are going to fight the assassins. I think it's one at a time, so we're gonna be okay, I think. I don't need anything here. <laughs> But I'm just going to see, instead of that one, uh, there's no other options, <laughs> which is okay, which is totally fine. We're not going to need it, I think. Uh, I don't think we're going to need anything else. Uh, we have what we need. So let's get into it. Uh, You're nearly finished with the course. Let's see. We're going to have some skags. I have saved the most difficult task for last get rid of these spitters first what do we got here oh that's a normal skag okay and now oh we have some of these dudes okay let's throw this guy Jesus that didn't even see that guy coming I definitely want to get rid of that guy. Okay, so before we kill that guy, we're gonna wait a little bit so that our turret gets to gets to recharge. Because after this, I think we're gonna have that uh, we're gonna have that uh, first assassin. Of course. Whoa. Why wasn't I hitting it? There we go. Hello. Okay, so now we're gonna throw this guy out. And he's almost down. There he goes. So now we're gonna get that other dude. Gonna let him get him eat those those grenades. He's gonna jump up there. Whoa. Where is he? Gonna slag the dude. There he goes. No. And we got that one. Let's see where he's going. But I'm going to throw it here because next we're going to have the other dude, which is harder to kill. There he is. Right over there. So way, way harder to kill. There we go. Nothing like have a distraction. And we got our first level here. Prepare for a great deal of text. There we go. We got the first level here. Our first OP. And that's awesome. All right. OP1. All right. Let's get to the elevator. Here we go. I never use I never use the iridium on these uh, on these chests unless uh, I'm all the way up to level to OP10. I don't th you know, it's a waste of iridium if you do because you're gonna get uh, lower level weapons. You're not gonna get uh, uh, OP10 weapons. You're gonna get OP1 or level 80 or something like that. So 
my recommendation is just save your iridium and just use if you do use the iridium wait until you're at level at op10 and then use the iridium on those chests okay here we go Twenty nine thousand. not that I it matters because we, we don't use it anymore you. that's pretty sweet so we got that one done uh i don't know if i'm gonna tweak uh the skill tree but i think it's gonna be good uh i'll think about it but uh, we got that done. We pretty much went to level 80 and got the first level of the OP levels, OP1, which is great. So uh, I'm going to call it quits on this one, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Please remember to subscribe. Hit that subscribe on the corner or on the, on the screen or in my channel. Anywhere, just hit that, and I'll catch you on the next one.